Well, you can see all the debris and damage here at these storage units. Now, this is actually one of the interior buildings, but firefighters said they were able to contain the fire quickly enough before it could spread throughout the business. Let's not let the fire grow beyond the extent that it already is. Now, these are concrete construction, which helps a little bit because they're resistant to fire to some degree. But again, you have to be very careful when you have buildings this close together. Three units destroyed and 10 total left with smoke and water damage. Firefighters definitely had some access issues just getting into the complex. They had to force a gate to get in and then they had to force multiple overhead doors on the individual units to try to determine where the fire was coming from. And once the fire was put out, the work continued. They were on the roof cutting holes and they were exposing any other voids that they thought there, where there might could possibly still be some hidden fires. Hazmat crews then clearing the units. Because it's a storage complex, you never know what you're going to find in these units. And we reached out to the manager of the business to hear what happens next for the owners of those units and their belongings, but didn't hear back.